This is a face of distracted driving. This is Casey Feldman. Casey was a daughter, granddaughter, sister, niece, cousin, and friend. She was kind, caring, had a great sense of humor, lived life to its fullest, and was loved by many. She was so funny and so vibrant and so beautiful in every way. She was smart, she was intelligent, she had goals for herself, she was really grounded, and she was someone that you knew would grow up to be somebody special, somebody important to other people. Casey's life ended on July 17, 2009. She was struck and killed by a distracted driver while she was crossing the street in a crosswalk. He had taken his eyes off the road for just a few seconds. It was the first time that I ever lost somebody, a friend, and someone my age. And, sorry. And it just, it made me realize that that could have easily have been me. That could have been my sister. It could have been anybody. Before Casey's accident, I would, I drove distracted and like, I would let people who were driving me be distracted. I know in high school, rushing around to activities, I'd be eating in the car and doing makeup in the car. I actually wrote a speech in the car once. I was changing the radio station um, while backing out of a parking spot and I hit a utility pole. I would take my eyes off the road to do makeup, to text message, to use my phone. I think definitely as a teenager, when you're first driving, you do feel invincible and driving can become a secondary task to whatever you're doing. You're basically operating a weapon. I think that people need to realize that they're operating something that has the power to change like thousand lives. No matter what it is you're trying to do in the car, it's not worth it. When you're driving, you are not, it's not a secondary task. It is the only task you should be doing. We must learn from Casey's death that as young people, we are not invincible. And we learned that it just doesn't happen to other people. It happened to Casey, someone that we love and miss very much. I think of Casey lying on the roadway after her accident. And when the police officer asked her how it occurred, she said, I want my mom. And I wasn't there to comfort her in those last moments. What will it take for us to change the way we drive? I've stopped having meals in the car. I put one CD in and I just don't change it. I make sure my purse is in the back seat now, my phone is in the back seat. If I'm driving, that's the only thing I'm doing. This is the picture I have in my car of Casey to remind me to keep my eyes and mind on the road. You could do the same with a picture of somebody that you love and care about.